All right, so we got this electric ice cream maker, uh, Nostalgia. Uh, I got it off Target. It was about 25 bucks, maybe a little bit more. Let's see. The blue teal bucket here, and you get this uh, electric uh, mixer plug-in, and you got this, this, and you get this. Aluminum bucket makes four quarts. So I say go ahead and put that in the freezer. And what are you doing? I'm getting some hot water to mix with the cocoa. So how many? Fifteen. Fifteen tablespoons. Mm -hmm. So we're adding adding the hot water to the Dad, cocoa now. Because the other blue pieces we can put on. With whole milk to add. How many cups? Six. Now for the sweetened condensed milk. Mmm. Whoa. Yep. Excuse me. Gooey. Whoa. Oh my gosh, so much milk. So much dips. How many of those you had? Three. Stirring that up. There is a recipe book that comes with a kit. Now you add the chocolate. So after that's in there, then what? You mix it together and put it in the canister, and you put the canister back in the freezer for 30 minutes to chill the mixture before you put it in. Before you turn it? Before you put it in the thing, yeah. Now, we grab the chilled bucket that came with the kit also. Out of uh, the freezer. Now, is this already like this? Yes. Okay. So let's do it over the sink. Okay. In case I spill it everywhere. Yes. Oh, sorry for that. In case some of it will get spilled. We have some things from dinner in here. <laughs> okay. well, there's still some chocolate bits in there. Well. Well, mix it some more. Mix it some more. Or we'll have like some chocolate dip yeah, chips yeah, and you know, ice cream. You wouldn't like that. They're bitter. Oh, yeah? So it is bitter if you don't mix it really well. Yeah, because it's unsweetened cocoa. Did your mom ever do that to you? Hey, taste this. And you're like... Oh. No. Yeah. My mom never did that to me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Different between our moms. That's exactly as much as I want it to be full. <laughs> so now I have to figure out how to get this Okay. So this makes quite a bit of ice cream. So now we have to find a room in the freezer. So how long does this have to sit in the freezer for? Thirty minutes. Thirty minutes before you even. Uh, what the book says. Before you even turn it or yeah. turn it. Hmm. So this is probably in like an hour process. Yeah. So thirty minutes chilled. In the freezer, and then it comes. See, it says. Be sure and to add place ice, it in here. Be sure to add ice cream mixture to mixture to canister and chill for 30 minutes prior to use. So then we add it into here with the mixer, with the ice around it and salt, mm -hmm. and it gets mixed for 30 minutes. Yes. Okay. So in the meantime, I'm going to do the dinner dishes. <laughs> So now we take this aluminum canister, put it in the center of the bucket, and is there anything that it like uh, sits on? Like a well, it's sitting on there's an indentation sticking up out of the bottom that sits okay, on top. Okay, that it does sit on. Yes. Does it matter w which way this indentation is? Like there's a hole here. I don't think so. I mean, I could stick it that okay. way, but I don't think it makes a difference. Okay, so it doesn't really matter. Let's turn this light on. So now we go around, all around it, 
with ice? Or do we steadily mix the ice and the salt, or do we just put layers of ice layers of each? Right? Yeah. It seems like there would be a lid. There is. To put on that. There will so, be. I mean, should we put it on that now so that way you don't get any ice in it? I guess you can. And then we can just dump it. Uh, I don't know if that makes a difference or not, truthfully. Oh, that would help. And then I can just dump it in there without worrying about it going into the ice cream. Okay. Now, there's this too. You can probably put this over here so it doesn't get... That's camp. Oh, it's just so it don't go in the hole. There we go. Now we can just pour stuff in there. Now a layer of salt. This is specific uh, yeah, good. ice cream salt. They said you can use any salt you want. Any salt is okay. Okay. But it is good to put the lid on. Yep, you are smart. This is a pain in the butt. Now we were doing this uh, in bags and manually doing it, but we decided to buy yeah, this. Yeah, it's Yeah. <laughs> Since it was so inexpensive, just the cost of making everything is expensive. Well, it's still expensive, but this is. But it makes four quarts, so. Yes. But nothing, easier. nothing wait, beats wait, homemade wait. ice cream. Forty minutes. Thirty minutes. I can't go past this hole. Okay, so that's a mark. Mhm. Mm so it did say you can't go past the hole. The more salt the better. And there's even a recipe on the back of uh, these salt boxes. Which if you look, I believe these two have the same. I'm sure you can get plenty of recipes online. So now we just line it up. Plug it in. I think it just comes on when you plug it in. And it does. Whoa. Yep. Yep. Yeah, the whole thing is. How about the inside? It's inside because it's turning the canister. Hmm? It's turning the canister. The whole canister is turning. Do you see it? So the inside's not moving. Just that ice. The oh, ice the and the canister is moving. So it is turning the ice. But, but the, the there's white. A, there's a wand inside that's stationary, and the canister is turning. So the ice cream is turning. It, oh, so the ice cream is. Turning through the and he's turning yeah. through the holes. You can see the little bubbles moving around. But the ice is actually turning. So, so don't expect the ice to sit still while the inside turns. It's going to be the outside that's turning. Just so, uh, and there's no switch on and off. You plug it in, and it goes. Oh. So throughout the process, we're just watching the ice. Adding ice and uh, a little bit more salt. So, would you say that um, you need at least like a 10 pound? I need a 10 pound granite ice, if not more. Not more. Yeah. But we have 10 minutes left. So, we should be good. Definitely at least a 10 pound bag, two boxes of salt. That is quite loud. Uh, in, the, in the booklet, it says that. You can uh, do it for 30 minutes, or the, uh, the motor will actually turn off by itself, but... Um, Maybe the I mean, it's been going for 30 minutes. Well, we can stop and look. And, uh, it. So, let's unplug it. There we go. Let me see. What, do you just pop it off? Yeah. Or does it turn? Like, is it slide off? No, like, lock in place? Yeah. Oh, okay, so it does have like a little okay. groove that it can lock in place once it's in the bucket. But, uh, I mean, it's like soft serve ice cream, like a frosty almost. Whoa! Sweet. <laughs> yeah.
Yeah, it smells good too. I can smell it. No, it's good. Yes. Look how thick it. Well, it's somewhat. It's like frosty. Uh, yeah. Like a Wendy's frosty. That's exactly what it tastes like. So. Oh yeah. Let's try it. We need to get this in the freezer quickly. So if anybody wants any, they need to. Yep. So we're gonna actually uh, take it out of here, and then. Uh, Make a few bowls. Check me out, Nick. And then, uh. Nick. So, after we pull the blade out, and that actually doesn't spin. So, it, as it turns the uh, container, it kind of like whips it through there. And this stays still the entire time. And as the. As that spins, then that just churns it through here. Put this lid on that. Always hold it from the bottom. You don't ever try to pick it up from the top. And uh, put it in the freezer. Good to go. What do you think? Good. Good. Best pocket I think ever. <laughs>